Having seen a four bar mechanism where we had four links connected with four revolute pairs and then having replaced one of the revolute pairs with a slider thereby getting a slider crank mechanism now we are going a step ahead and replacing one more revolute pair with a sliding pair so we have essentially a mechanism with four links connected with two revolute pairs and two prismatic or sliding pairs uh, in this particular inversion we have these sliding pairs adjacent to the fixed link so we are going to have a fixed link there will be two guides and in them there will be two sliders and lastly there will be a link which will be connecting these two sliders via two pins which fully rotate so this is the mechanism we are going to look at uh, because it has two sliders it is called a double slider and here is one of its applications this blue link with a cross slot is our fixed link in it there are these two green sliders and connecting them is this purple link with two hinges at B and C midway between the hinges we have taken a point M and on the extension of BC there is another tracing point T let us see their path as we move this mechanism you'll notice T is tracing a perfect ellipse while M is tracing a circle we will see in a short while how they do it but because we are getting an ellipse this mechanism is called an elliptical trammel now it might seem uh, rather mysterious how we are getting a perfect circle here and a perfect ellipse from such a simple looking mechanism uh, but to understand that let us start with the path traced by this midpoint M of segment CB the X coordinate of M is given by the horizontal projection of segment CM and its Y coordinate is the vertical projection of this segment MB so if theta is the angle made by this segment CB with horizontal then coordinates of M can be written like this but since M is a midpoint of CB MC and MB are equal and we get a parametric equation of circle MX and MY will be A cos theta A sin theta so that is how we trace a circle for any other point on this purple link we will get a similar path only the distances CM and MB were equal here and they will be unequal for any other point so we will get a parametric equation that says x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta equation of an ellipse finally there will be two special cases of these ellipses which are infinitely flattened into a double line segment those are the paths followed by point C in vertical direction and point B in the horizontal direction let us now watch this mechanism in 3D and in action by following this link here so this is a double slider this is the cross slot in which these two orange colored sliders will be sliding and the green link is uh, connecting these two sliders uh, the purple flower like link is not a part of this mechanism it is just there to make it more interesting it is called as Geneva wheel and it gives us intermittent motion let us see the animation now 